Welcome back to the weekly RFOX update. Luke Fairbank, RFOX's Chief Product Officer, is here to give us the latest updates on the RFOX NFT platform and marketplace. How's it going, Luke? Doing great. How are you, Lenny? I'm doing good, thanks. Let's get into it. We're here in VR and we're in Q5 of the RFOX Vault, which is under construction right now. For those new to RFOX NFTs, what are the key features of the platform and marketplace? Yeah, so it's a, it's a premium end-to-end -end minting platform. Um, you can manage your collection, you can deploy your own audited NFT contract, um, you can embed a widget into an existing website um, where customers can mint their NFTs from. Um, and obviously the marketplace is where the secondary sales happen, um, you know, selling NFTs between two individuals. But um, it's, it's the fact that it's a holistic approach, end-to-end -end solution, um, right from the, the very beginning pre-minting to um, selling the NFTs on the marketplace. Why is it important to own your own contract? Well, I guess the most important reason you want to be the owner of a contract um, is because it allows you the control of the royalties, um, withdrawal of funds from the NFT sales. Um, and, you know, with shared contracts, unfortunately, um, it doesn't really provide you that true ownership. Uh, contracts are immutable. So in other words, they can't really be changed once they've been deployed. You'd have to redeploy the contract. So if you don't control what happens up until that point, um, it may not always work in your favor. So true, true ownership and being involved in that creation of the contract is important. What are the current issues or limitations with doing NFT drops and sales on current websites? Well, um, obviously you, you wanna keep people on your website. Um, you know, and there's, there's multiple reasons for that. There, there's less hops. So the experience is smoother and less complicated, which is obviously always a good thing. Um, jumping to another site could also be a security concern for people using it. Um, you know, it, it, it may have that, the optics, even though that may not be the case, it does appear that way sometimes. Um, and then, you know, generally having something embedded in your own site just gives a more professional feel. That's important in every industry, but obviously in crypto, it's, it's even more important, especially at the moment. What are the current limitations or issues that creators have with NFT marketplaces? Um, well, I mean, one problem is that they have control um, over your collection. Um, so that the NFTs you're selling on, on their marketplace are sort of controlled by them. So a collection could, could and you know, they have been taken down based on um, someone's report, reporting the collection for whatever reason. It could just be taken down. That's not in your control. Um, you know, there's a lot of different reasons. Also, um, fees are getting quite high in some of these sites and the rules are changing. So um, obviously they can change the rules. Um, that, that's the nature of it when, when, when they own that site and control that site. So they can change the rules about fees and fee structures and what you get paid. So um, you know, ha having control over that or at least visibility of that is I think really important. What chains are currently available and what's next to be added to the minting platform and marketplace? Okay, so we're starting with ETH um, and BSC and Polygon are, are in there already in internal versions and they'll, they'll be released very soon. They're just going through testing. And then there's others to follow, um, which will include AVAX and others. Um, we'll release details about that soon once, once we've um, blocked those down, but we know AVAX is definitely on the cards. Some marketplaces used RAP BTC and RAPD and they're having some issues now. What are the trading tokens on RFOX NFTs and the marketplace? And what are the plans to use wrap tokens? Now, no plans to use wrap tokens, but um, we'll always use the native coin or token for the chain being used. So um, ETH obviously for the Ethereum um, NFTs, BNB for, for the BSCs, Matic for Polygon. Um, and you know, obviously we'll always use RFOX where it's practical and possible. The NFT platform and marketplace plug into the RFOX vault. What's the opportunity for NFT projects to promote themselves in the RFOX vault? Yeah, sure. So, um, well, NFTs can be sold in shops, obviously, we know that. Um, so a creator could work with a shop owner, an existing shop owner, to launch in their shop. Um, we're looking at rental models, so shops can be rental, rented for a period of time. But that's a really good way to showcase your NFTs um, in their, you know, their native form. Um, as far as straight advertising goes, we will have billboards in the vault, um, and you know there's opportunities down the track to use billboards for advertising. Um, that 
technology is already there. We've already got um, R Fox TV working in um, in the dome in in, in Calanova. Um, so you can see that we can already stream videos. We can already showcase um, that that technology, I guess. But uh, we just need to figure out the model for controlling that um, from from a user standpoint and administering that that content. But that's coming, and it's it's in basically in backlog now and being worked on. If anyone wants to launch an NFT project on RFOX NFTs and they want to get started, they have questions or they need help, where should they go? They, they can start with going to our website. We're, we're, having, we're rebuilding the, um, the RFOX NFT website, so rfoxnfts.com. Um, that's being re rebuilt at the moment and that release will coincide with the release of the products. Um, there's tutorial videos that'll be on there, which will give you a, a run through on how the, actual, the process works. So you can get a good bit of visibility on that. Um, the, there'll also be two sites, one on mainnet and one on testnet. So you can actually do a run through and, and test out the whole process end to end um, and, and see what that looks like before you do the, the final run. Um, and then if you, know, if you get stuck, you can, you can always email us at support at rfox.com. Um, and if you want to talk about partnerships or you know, some sort of um, um, project where we, we work together, you can email us at partnerships at rfox.com. All right. Thanks a lot for the update, Luke. See you next time. My pleasure. Thanks, Lenny. Thanks, everyone. Do check out the RFOX Vault product update posted last week. And if you're looking to create your own NFT project and benefit from the features that RFOX offers, like Luke said, contact partnerships at rfox.com.